we are uh, clearly seeing an evolution uh, towards more meaningful and more clinically validated offerings, whether in the digital health uh, technologies, whether in digital therapeutics or the digital biomarkers domain. There's a there's a trend uh, towards an understanding that the community wants to see validation and patient and user benefits beyond just anecdotal stories. Um, I believe we can also uh, observe that the more clear a use case and its deployment is to address a specific issue, the, the better usually the path to, to prove that efficacy. Um, and in parallel to that, we can also witness uh, uh, regulations and standards really maturing, which is really important to understand how we can frame it and then bring it really to market. A good example for that is the, uh, the DIME uh, V3 framework, uh, which is a, a modular uh, approach that allows digital sensing products, uh, algorithms and clinical use cases to be evaluated separately by parsing out the, the evidence and documentation required at each level of, of the digital clinical measurement stack. Uh, so that essentially means uh, verification, analytical validation and clinical validation. Um, another trend uh, is, is the steady movement uh, of intelligent sensing um, and medical capabilities towards the edge, uh, meaning uh, closer to the patient, uh, and in some cases that can even mean the patient's home. Uh, and this overall dynamic is also accelerated by what I would consider a truly dramatic increase in scientific understanding of basic mechanisms in, in human physiology and genetics, uh, paired with incredible advances in technology miniaturization. Uh, and that uh, allows the deployment of, uh, of previously unportable complex systems into, into highly portable uh, and in some cases even uh, variable um, uh, factors uh, or form factors with codified expert knowledge on board. And these, these dynamics really form what I would consider very exciting uh, uh, what's happened uh, over, the, over the last couple of years. In general, the, the cost-benefit relationship is, I think, yet to be found. Um, Despite these uh, impressive and, and, and admittedly exciting developments uh, uh, we've just been referring to, we're still finding it, it hard to establish common ground to more rapidly plug such capabilities into established and, and accepted workflows uh, in healthcare. And, uh, and that dynamic uh, seems to live under some tension. In some cases, the community will likely need to either adjust or even reinvent uh, parts or substantial parts of, of a workflow to truly benefit the stakeholders. Um, and, and I think we, we need to emphasize all stakeholders uh, need to benefit from that. We need to see a win-win-win uh, sort of situation, uh, better patient experience, more powerful service uh, capability, more reliable outcomes uh, per investments made. And one of the key fundamental challenges remaining, I feel, is really how to truly navigate health maintenance in absence of, of, uh, of clear signals and to motivate an individual and, and the system to pay attention to that and spend resources to something that possibly pays off down the road. And I'm sometimes thinking a, a, an avatar or say a digital twin that allowed to simulate how a more healthy or a more sick version of myself would look like uh, uh, might be a plausible motivation where one could work with targeted interventions, improve measurable metrics that are directly or indirectly correlated uh, with, a, uh, with a healthy outcome. In, in recent years, we have seen regulators, uh, providers, uh, industry and academia uh, come together at the Medical Variables Conference to share knowledge, uh, discuss challenges and, and draft ways forward. Uh, we, we, have, we have again an, a, a very exciting program lined up here that allows us to continue on that path and engage in lively debates and conversations that are taking place in an increasingly relevant uh, part of our healthcare uh, experience and caretaking. 
So please come and join us in Boston between October 23rd and 24th and be part of these interactions.